Hi, I'm Bogey. I am a master mechanic and the owner of 180 Degrees Automotive, and you might know me as one of the hosts from All Girls Garage. Now, I'm hanging out with my friends at the SKF shop to talk to you about a little bit of the differences between premium and value-grade hub assemblies. Now, I'm going to walk you through some of the differences, but let's start with the basics. What is a hub assembly? A hub assembly is a unitized assembly that is an integral part of your vehicle suspension. The whole idea is to be able to support the vehicle's weight while simultaneously allowing the wheels to turn. It's kind of important. Now when it comes time to replace a hub assembly, it's important to know that there are a lot of different options and quality levels available in the aftermarket. You have the premium options, such as the SKF product line. Now these are going to boast the same quality and service life as the original equipment, so what came brand new in your vehicle when you got it from the showroom. And then, of course, there are the value grade assemblies. Now these often feature a very attractive price tag, often 30 to 50 percent less than the premium options. However, that low cost comes at a price. They often have a much shorter service life, sometimes only 35 percent of original equipment, and they have a high frequency of performance problems and customer complaints. They may all look the same or virtually the same, but looks can be deceiving. So what's the difference? Let's start with talking about construction. What is it made of and is it going to fit? Now with value grade hub bearings, they are often made with a much lesser quality of material as well as manufactured to less specific tolerances and finishes, which means it might not always fit. And when it comes to performance, will it perform the same as the original equipment? The answer with value grade hubs is sometimes no. You may not have any issues right off the bat, but they may develop down the road. Some of the issues you might experience are noise, vibration, harshness, complaints or an ABS system that just doesn't work or actual material failure where the part actually breaks apart. Now the big question is life expectancy. If the original equipment part lasted 100,000 miles, remember your value grade aftermarket replacement may only last 25,000 to 35,000. So when you think about it, that 35% cost savings isn't really worth it in the long run. So remember, not all hubs are created equally. Now I know sometimes for economic reasons you might have to choose the least expensive option and when the price tag is 30 to 50 percent lower it can be incredibly tempting but when you do remember that you get what you paid for and regardless of what it says on the box for quality or for testing if the price is that much cheaper there's a reason for it not all hub bearings are created equal so if you're looking for a part that will perform and have the same life expectancy as the original equipment that came on your car choose SKF premium hub bearings. Thanks for watching this video and remember when you're choosing replacement parts for your vehicle don't compromise on safety. Install confidence with SKF bearings and seals. For more product information visit them online at skfpartsinfo.com or you can follow them on Twitter at skfpartsinfo.